Sup guys, welcome to another tutorial series that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to start by uh, giving examples and basically give you tips on how to improve the performance on your game. And I'm going to be starting by talking about lots or level of detail. And what I have now here that I have opened, uh, it's a, a scene uh, on the third person character uh, on blueprints. I have just gone over here, file, and I have created a new level. And I've gone into the default tab, I have deleted the little uh, platform that comes with it. I have gone into landscape, I just created a new landscape over here, like with the default settings that come with them. And then I just went into the foliage, I have gone into the star content and props, and I have dragged the brush into here, and I have painted the entire landscape with them. And you can see that the FPSs are low, and this is the reason that I'm going to start by explaining lots. Now I'm going to try and making this scene much more uh, viable on performance. So once you achieve this, I'm going to show you by playing. And you can see that the frame rate is kind of gone, uh, like it can go to 60 FPS, but like um, mostly it's kind of going down into 30 and it's not really stable. The landscape is not really big enough to uh, this actually making a difference, the amount of, but you can see the 40 FPS. I'm going to go about into making this uh, much more performant. So I'm going to talk about lots. For that, you're going to need to open up your brush or whatever static mesh you dragged into the foliage settings. I'm going to double click that open. And you can go over here on the right. Uh, you have your lot picker, your lot zero. The lot picker basically allows you to choose whatever lots you have on your mesh. Right now, we only have one, the lot zero, but we're going to be, uh, I'm going to show you how to create more. You have your lot settings, and the number of lots is where you change how many lots you have. And, you know, these are other settings. And you can see over here on the left, you have your current lot, the current screen size. And the screen size is how uh, the Unreal um, basically calculates when to show. For example, now it's in lot 0 because it's 1. So screen size is basically the mesh is covering 100% of the screen. So like when we are really close. And as you go further, it's going to get uh, reduced values. And as far away as you get, it's going to get smaller and smaller. The triangles and the vertices are basically the polygons on your mesh that you have. And the lot system system basically calculates a way of the reducing these as we choose to get from lot 0 to 1 to 2, etc. So to start this, I'm going to go into lot settings and I'm going to go over to lot number of lots. And I'm going to change this to 3, but uh, first... I'm going to go into the auto compute law distances and I'm going to uncheck that because I want to show you how to do that manually. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do and make three lots. And I'm just going to click on apply changes. Now if we go up here, uh, we're going to see our lot picker now has the lots that we created before it only had the lot auto. I'm going to go into lot zero and we have our settings here. Right now, uh, I'm, going to t I'm going to leave the screen size to one because this is our first lot. This is where our static mesh should be uh, like at its uh, normal state, basically. Now I'm going to go into lot 1, and here is where we want to reduce the settings. Now we have our screen size. This is basically, well, what, what is our screen size that we want this to change to the lot 1? I'm going to want this to change to lot 1 when I go into uh, 0.35. So just put that 0.35. Boom. Now the percent triangles is basically how much you want to reduce the number of triangles and vertices. Right now it's 100. I'm going to change this to 75. And I'm just going to click on apply changes. And you can pay attention to this number and it dropped. You basically didn't even notice because the change is not that big to 100 to 75. But now if you're going to log 2. And now we're going to get uh, and see a good screen size for this. I'm going to go to uh, I guess 0.11. And I'm going to go into the person triangles and I'm going to go and say 30. I guess 30, they kind of round the number, I don't know why, but you can go ahead and apply changes. You can see your number dropping. Now if you go close, you can see that we kind of lost leaves or detail in the foliage. And you can actually see that by going to lot 1 and lot 0. Uh, lots basically make you lose detail on the mesh, but because you're going to only show them when you're far away from them, uh, the player, you're not going to really be able to see that with you, uh, visually. So now I'm going to go and make this lot auto, and you can see the difference. As you get further away, pay attention to the lot number and the vertices. As you get away, you can see them dropping. 
Now I just created very three uh, three uh, lots. It's very simple. You can create more if you want over on the number, uh, the number of lots, and this is basically just changing one setting uh, on the reduction settings. You can uh, play around with these. I don't really know what these are. That's why I'm not talking about them. But uh, I have not seen the difference by changing this. The only thing that matters really is the percent triangles. So now if we save and go back to our map, let me actually save this. I'm not sure, but if we play, we should now see a difference on the frame rate. And you can see that now we have 60 FPS uh, everywhere. It's still dropping a little bit because it's really dense, but you can see that the performance uh, got better a lot. And I don't know if the, because this is dropping to 40 or 50 and it's kind of buggy because we are playing in the viewport, it probably is. But if you get around and like create a really massive landscape and just paint it all, and like you get like back to 20 FPS or something, you can really see the difference. And I guess we can do that now. So what I'm going to do, really quick, I'm going to go into and I'm going to delete this landscape. And I think it deletes the foliage as well as it did. Yes, we can go into landscape. I'm going to go over into the number of components. I, get, I can go to the section size. We're going to do 255. You can see the landscape now is way bigger. I'm just going to click create. And now I'm going to go into the foliage. Uh, this is going to be uh, have the same settings that we have over here. And I'm going to go into the density. And I'm just going to plug the... I can leave it at 100. And I'm, good shit. I'm just going to paint the landscape now. Uh, just a quick tip, if you go into the brush size and you place a really big number, it's going to give you a really large paintbrush. So you can paint all of this. The video might freeze or the, the screen, but that's because it's like it's heavy when we paint so much thing at the same time. Just make sure you do this uh, in, a very, in a very big landscape so you can see the difference. Yeah, and now it freezes. It's probably going to happen on your end as well. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to finish painting this. Okay guys, so I've just painted a lot of the landscape, uh, but I just spawned and I fell through the ground. That's because you need to click on your landscape, go into the detail on the transform and you need to uh, make your Z zero because the landscape starts a little bit elevated. Now if you play, I'm going to be on top. Oh, and I spawned too far away from where I painted. I, I think I may have gone overkill with the size of the landscape, but I guess it's fine since we are looking to improve the performance. And let me just move this over here, back to where I painted. Now if I play, you can see that I'm, okay, the, the foliage didn't update. I guess even so, it's not that enough, but that's because I already have the lots. You can see, even if I have created I have a lot more uh, meshes, so I have almost a million, a million brushes painted right now. And the performance is just this, basically the same as I had before. And I can probably stabilize this a little bit better if I go into the new editor window. And you can see that you can't really have the FPS counter on this window, but you can see that the performance is actually quite good. And this is uh, all due to, the, um, to our LUT system. Now you can actually see the difference. If I go inside my static mesh brush and I go back into our LOD and I just go back to just having one and I press apply changes and I go back. If I try to play, now you can see that the, um, the meshes don't even render that well. That is because the they're like, it's too much. You can really see a performance. You can see when they appear that the FPS drops. Um, it's not really apparent, that's because, uh, Jesus Christ, it's really bugging out. Okay, now it freezes, great. I think I might have gone a little bit overkill with this, but you can see the point of having lots. Um, you know, and you, when you are like building a level with static meshes and that stuff, you almost need always to have all of your props and all of your static meshes with lots set up. That's gonna make in the end when you build the game, like you're only not gonna have brushes in your level. You might have like thousands of different static meshes, like making a level and you need to have, uh, if you have lots in all of them, you're gonna make the game much more performant and you're gonna thank me for telling you this in the end because if you make the entire level without setting lots, then you're gonna be um, 
with poor performance and if you want to make lots you're gonna have to make like dozens or even hundreds of them uh, depending on the quantity of static meshes you have the the different number of static meshes you're gonna have to be making them one by one even if they are automatic imagine if you have to and make the lots in an exterior 3d program like it's really crazy so you better like start working that early on when you're building a level and it's gonna really help you in the end and my editor freezes because I clicked on the foliage great I have almost a million brushes over here and the performance with lots um, actually made me have almost 60 FPS and the reason that um, I don't think the, the laws actually updated because you can see that my performance didn't re really drop that much it kind of got bugged out and for some reason now I have a million more uh, I have more than a million but yeah you can play around with this on your own these settings over here uh, you are probably gonna be wanting to make more than three lots you can make like five that's like optimal for foliage because y imagine if you have like some hills with trees that if you reduce the lots they kind of get buggy and you will be able to see them but that really depends on where how you place your static meshes in the level and that's really gonna come out of you how to test things out I can really tell you the perfect settings you're gonna have to test those on your own so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I'm kind of thought to make this a little bit uh, different tutorial not really making programming but like showing these little uh, tips and how to do that in the next one and talking about our optimizer game I might do a uh, level streaming that's very important when you're building levels that are large you're gonna want to stream basically what that does you know I'm gonna explain that in the next video but it basically makes you load and then load levels procedurally so uh, you don't really have the entire level uh, being drawn at the same time that really saves up performance and that mixed up with lots is really really powerful so yeah, I'm gonna talk and show you how to make that in the next video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one bye bye